Hey guys, it's um, Josh here. Um, with, so it's a little surreal, the second to last vlog. And it's going to be a talking vlog. Um, um, there's three topics I want to talk about. It's going to be the last vlog, um, which is going to be probably the most epic vlog. Yeah, it's going to be a massive special. And um, what's called, I want to talk about the newest Game of Thrones episode. I want to talk about something I'm not sure if I talked about before. So, to start off, I'm going to talk about the thing I'm not sure if I talked about before. Um, in this vlog, I'll put timestamps to everything, so look in the description below. Anyway, um, oh man, it's on the floor. Hold on a sec. I'm not sure if I talked about this before, but a few, like last Monday or so, the, um, the official Kagera Project book series, um... Well, Kagero Day is the first book in the series, which is based on my, one of my favorite shows, probably my favorite show, Makaku City Actors, which you see behind me, the poster of. Um, and it's all, we, we talk about a ton on the vlog, so you're probably familiarized with it if you're immersed in the vlog at this point. Um, I got the book. I'm not sure if I show this, Kagero Day is um, a little ways into it. Not a lot. Let me see the exact amount of pages. So far, it's fantastic. I'm 25 pages in. So far, it's fantastic. It's, um... Not sure what timeline it takes place on, but um, I think it might be similar to the one of the manga, if not the show. But um, we'll see. It gives a lot more detail than the show did. Like twenty five pages, is, like the first two minutes of the show. I think it's really interesting, especially since they have six or seven books to flesh this out. So um, while well, the show only had twelve episodes, so you could do two episodes per over a hundred page book, which I think is very remarkable. Anyway, it's good so far. Now on to, um, Game of Thrones, last night's episode. Um, so, I don't know whether to be really disappointed or really amazed by last night's episode, because the first half big build-up was t disgustingly horrible, and the second half big build-up was amazing. So, we're going to talk about the second half first. So, spoilers, definitely, 100%. Um... We're at the opening, grand opening of the Fighting Pits of Marine. Daenerys is there, Tyrion's there. Jorah reveals himself, does some things, everything's normal. All of a sudden, there's a um, Sons of Harpin um, attack, and devastated, the entire thing's devastated. Almost everyone's killed, they're surrounded, they're gonna get killed, they're gonna get assassinated. All of a sudden, Drogon flies in, destroys shit. I was kind of expecting this to happen, because I was familiar with something that happened in the book similar to this. And, um, Drogon flies and goes crazy shit. And, um, yeah. And, remarkably, Daenerys finally rides Drogon, becoming the first dragon rider in 200 years in the lore of the story. So, it was a pretty amazing scene, except it was very similar to How to Train Your Dragon. <laughs> How to Train Your Drogon. That's today's vlog title. Anyway, so, um... But yeah, it was very similar, which was a little weird. But um, other than that, it was good, except that she abandoned her people. And now you have Tyrion, Jorah, Dario. The other guy's dead. So Tyrion, Jorah, Jorah, Dario, and... What's her hand name? His name, I keep on forgetting her name. Those people are alone, left to figure out what's going to happen while Daenerys is gone. If Daenerys even returns, we don't know where she's going. But, um, yeah, it was a little, a little weird. But the first half of the episode was something so fucking disturbing that shouldn't have been in the episode, period. That wasn't even in the books. That didn't even need to be there. That was just a fucking... And they've... Edition. And it's just so frustrating. So, um, Stannis' daughter, who I keep on forgetting her name, was burned at the stake, sacrificed to the Red God, by Stannis, who sent, um... Who sent Sir Davos out of out to go to the wall to get supplies before this happened because he knew what he was going to do, and it was just horrific. This is the most probably the most innocent character on the show was just destroyed, and it just so was, I don't know it's it was a terrible terrible addition to the show. It was just literally added, literally added for shock value, and it wasn't even in the books. Unless George R. R. Martin was planning this and discussed with them that he was going to do this towards the end of the book series. I mean, it's ridiculous. It's disgusting. And now, Stannis going to win a battle? I hope he doesn't fucking win a battle. 
it's funny because they've been building up as Stannis and Melisandre this season as some of my favorite characters, and I actually sort of, for a split second in my mind, wanted Stannis to win over Daenerys. But then it's just all shattered, completely taken away. I want Stannis to run the ground forever. I want Melisandre to run the ground forever. They were two of my favorite characters. Now they're two of my least favorites because of what they did. And I think that's a little... You can't build up a character like that and make it one of your favorites. Now I understand why they've been making building it up like that, but it's ridiculous. Anyway, that's that's the Game of Thrones episode. Nothing much major happily to find out that... Um, what is his name? Bears to sell me, I think is a pedophile, and Arya's colleague will try to use that to her advantage and kill him. She abandons her mission, and I do think that what's-his-name knows, um, Jack and Hagar knows that she abandoned her mission, even though he's not telling her that, but Arya's, that's it for Arya's this episode. Did any, did any other, or any other arcs shown in the Oh, Jon Snow, what's the, um, Wildlings, and yeah, other than that, that's this week's Game of Thrones episode. Episode 9 is always shock value, but who would have thought it was that? Anyway, now it's a final topic of this vlog, um, the end of the vlog. That is going to be tomorrow. The hopeful plans are that we go to Zach's house and film a big special there. The, um, the not so, the not so hopeful plan will be that if it collapses, I'll be ever screaming out of it or just me doing a talking vlog. And I don't want that to be, I want it to kind of be special, but, um, who knows. It's the end of the vlog, the one year mark. We started recording the vlog June 9th, 2014. It will be June 9th, 2015, tomorrow. So I'm really looking forward to this. And it's going to be um, tomorrow's vlog. I'm going to talk about the future of the channel, what's going to happen, because it's not going away. Don't worry. But um, yeah, that's about it for today's talking vlog. I got your days, watch Game of Thrones, and talk about the end of the vlog. So this is the last talking vlog you guys will probably see, unless tomorrow's the talking vlog. So. If I have anything else to show, obviously the video won't be over, so I'll show that, but if this is the end, this is the end of the vlog, so see you guys later.